Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Lindsay with Evergreen Intuitive Tarot here today to do an all signs reading, Aries through Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever placement you see fit. This is who or what is coming towards you, okay? Please keep in mind a few things. First of all, if something doesn't resonate, leave it here for someone else. It wasn't meant for you. This is a general reading. It may or may not be for you. If you'd like more information, you can check your other placements to get a more well-rounded idea of what may be coming towards you. Also, timestamp for this reading will be listed below in the description, as always. Um, also, please, uh, please and thank you for your patience, as the holidays are always a bit rough for me personally, and the new year, and you know, motherhood and my, uh, this is my busy season for my portrait studio. So I am going to show up as much as I can, as best as I can. Also, if I'm being honest, and I think a lot of other readers are going through this right now, like collectively, um, I've just been, I needed to take a break. So I am here today to do a reading for you guys. I've missed you so much and I really appreciate your patience. If you want to book a private reading with me, you can find all the information for that listed below in the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, this is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, who or what is coming towards Aries? What do they need to know? Okay, the month of April came out. So you could be born in April, you could be dealing with someone born in April, or something that happened in April is coming to fruition. Also, you could be um, experiencing something monumental coming this April. We'll find out more. You got flowers, happiness. So also kind of a springtime card. Love that. What else for Aries spirit? Two more cards, Aries. You got kite, vacation. Ooh, so some of you guys are gonna be taking a vacation. Maybe you're saving up for a spring break vacation in April, or maybe these are unrelated, but that's exciting. And lion, time to act, time to act. So there's something that you have been waiting for or waiting to, make, to move on or take action on and the time is now. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a uh, another Aries or a Taurus. And I see you taking vacation and being happy. Happiness, I love that, time to act. Maybe some of you wanted to get to a specific place in your personal life or in your goals or in your business life or in your relationship and now it's time to act. Let's see what's coming towards you in love. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Aries in love, please? Thank you, Aries. You got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I feel like some of you guys are doing that now or at least considering it. And if you're not, then you need to. Everybody does. And romantic feelings. So there is someone in the picture, Aries. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Who had... Who do you have feelings for, Aries? Because they're real and worth exploring. I don't know if maybe there's feeling, it, uh, I'm sorry, if there's family issues uh, keeping you guys apart or if the family doesn't, I don't know what the deal is. I think I'm gonna actually pull a couple of these too. I wasn't planning on it, but. Spirit, what do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Let's have two of these. We're gonna put these here. There we go. All right. Two cards for Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Two cards for Aries. You have the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. So definitely healing some childhood issues or, or trauma or growing. Uh, there is a relationship here that is evolving either from a crush to an actual relationship or otherwise, and the Phoenix, look at that. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and change mind. Wow, you guys are really going through a transformational time in your life right now, and I think a lot of it has is, is stemming from um, your ability and your desire to heal from within. I think a lot of people in the collective right now, Aries, are realizing that um, you know how we feel about our experiences, how we feel about our past, how we feel about love, how we feel about all of these things really, um, are powerful in terms of what we attract. So I think people are tired of attracting the same old shit, so we're doing healing. All right, Spirit, can you please give us, um, let's go with six cards for who or what is coming towards Aries, please. Thank you. It's 
interesting that I'm shuffling my cards like that. I never shuffle my cards like that. Oh, look at that. Upon the split, Ten of Cups and Empress. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but I think a lot of you are just embracing your inner uh, divine whether it's feminine or masculine, even though the Empress is the divine feminine. Bottom of the deck, the fool. Look at you right on the bottom of the deck. Um, fresh beginning, starting from scratch, fearless, entering a new phase in your life um, with just the bare necessities. As you can see, the fool doesn't have a whole shit ton on his back. He's got a little hobo bag, a flower, and a dog. He Notice how he kept one hand free for a flower. To me, that uh, is remarkably indicative of someone who is making time to enjoy the smaller things, someone who is enjoying real beauty, um, you know, a flower, to keep a hand free for a flower. It's like you can only take what you need and you choose to bring a flower. I love that. Let's see what you got going on. Justice, Libra energy, Seven of Wands. Ooh, Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, Aries. So I do see um, some defensiveness here. I do see um, some protection. I think that something um, could have gone down legally or in a, in a long-term situation or relationship, but there was something here and injustice was done. I do feel like um, something was unfair. And because of that, uh, either you felt defensive or you felt like you had to defend yourself or block um, people from being able to hurt you again. Um, <clears throat> I do see there may be an apology coming towards you. I'm not sure how it's gonna make you feel but I feel like someone is coming in to kind of acknowledge what they've done, or there is someone who's coming in to just test the waters. Maybe this person realizes that you've been hurt, okay? Uh, could be a Libra, but um, I do see new opportunities coming for you. I see trust, I mean, truly, trust is a huge thing right now, and some of you, this could stem from childhood with the Page of Pentacles and these childhood cards. I feel like some of you are learning to forgive and learning to trust not only other people, but trust yourselves. Um, Aries, trust yourself that you are um, not going to um, disappoint yourself by allowing people in your life or allowing people to take advantage of you that are going to leave you confused and stuck. Um, <clears throat> I am seeing the one energy here that takes you from Page of Pentacles to Queen of Pentacles is the ability to accurately and effectively communicate your emotions, okay? Um, some of you could be facing a really difficult decision here with the Two of Swords, uh, but there is something about being able to communicate your feelings effectively with the moon here that is indicative of feelings. Also, if you have a child, I feel like maybe there's a disconnect between you and your child. Maybe you're having a hard time connecting. Uh, this could also be your child self and your adult self, and maybe the kind of disconnect, again, is... Um, some family issues or some past issues or trauma that needs to be dealt with. Now, in terms of love, um, again, you could be dealing with a Libra or an earth sign, but I definitely see here um, trust issues. I see that you've been betrayed. I see that it's keeping you almost um, stuck in a holding pattern, stuck. Um, I'm feeling some of you have been triggered, like this past love situation that betrayed you or this person that betrayed you uh, triggered something from your childhood. And it's like, it's so deep that maybe you didn't even realize it was a thing. But I see you coming out of that. Um, I do. I see you growing into the Queen of Pentacles. You are abundant, nurturing the people around you and um, nurturing the things that you love and really getting a grasp on your budget and your finances and taking really, really, really good care of yourself at this time. Some of you could be getting a new animal or just could be like um, volunteering, could be more giving of your time time, energy, effort, money, resources. Um, I, you know, with the Empress, do you see the Empress and the Ten of Cups upon the split? So I do see that you're working your way towards kind of uh, fortune after difficulty and emotional uh, satisfaction and the, the, the greatest abundance in the deck, which is the Empress card, okay? Um, I do see that things are going to play out a little bit more fairly for you moving forward, Aries. Also, um, if some of you guys are in like a legal situation, um, I would be careful with who you trust with information and also um, like attorneys or um, I don't know, that's coming through pretty strongly for like maybe one or two of you. Also, there could be like an offer here. Somebody could be making an offer with the Page of Pentacles and maybe you don't feel like it's fair and it's confusing. But ultimately, I see you making the best decisions for you. With the romantic feelings, again, it says your feelings are worth, real and worth exploring, but what do you have to do to express romantic feelings? You have to acknowledge and be able to express how you feel, and I feel like that's been a really difficult task for you as of late, Aries. 
but I feel like you're coming out of that with forgiveness of others around you and forgiveness of yourself, okay? Aries, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps immensely. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. Aries, as always, I love you very much. I appreciate you being here and I will talk to you soon. Take care. All right, next we have Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Taurus? What do they need to know? We have Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So Taurus, you're feeling stuck, okay? Um, you're feeling blocked. Nothing stays the same. Nothing is permanent. Taurus. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Maybe some of you guys have been stuck in a situation with this rooster person. And spirit saying, don't worry. Look at that. Victory in some endeavor. Don't worry. I'm hearing, don't you worry about a thing. Stevie Wonder. One more card for Taurus. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So some of you are going to be fertile at this time. You could be getting pregnant. Um, you could be conceiving in some capacity, whether it's surrogacy or whatever. Um, or a new enterprise is being born. I do feel like this conception is coming at the, um, at the hand of um, persevering through this caterpillar and rooster situation because victory is coming in front of you. You could be dealing with an Aries. The V just reminds me of the ram head. Um, of course, you know my in my readings, Taurus always has to have a connection to Aries, so there you go. Anyways, new stuff is coming. You are on the precipice of new and of victory. That is super exciting. Let's see what's coming towards you in love. Spirit, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know? What's coming towards them in love? One more shuffle. This is for Taurus. Two cards for Taurus, please. You got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. I read something interesting today, Taurus, that said when you're manifesting, make sure that you're not attaching any negative emotion or past emotion to your manifestation. Meaning, do not manifest out of anger, out of um, unworthiness or guilt or shame or um, anything negative. Make sure that you're staying optimistic and that you try to catch your negative thought cycles um, because they will get in the way of manifesting because you cannot manifest the future while you're still attaching um, that manifestation to past emotions, okay? One more card for Taurus. What do they need to know? What's coming towards them? And at least we know something good is coming. Look at that. It is safe for you to love. I do feel like this rooster or whatever this caterpillar situation has you feeling like maybe you will be forever single or maybe you will forever be attracting shitty partners or maybe you're not worthy of love. And this is saying not only are you worthy, you are. it is safe to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Also, Taurus, some of you may need to work on some heart chakra uh, exercises. Sorry, guys, I'm going to move this. The smoke is going right up my nose. Good Lord. All right, Spirit, can we please have six cards for who or what is coming towards Taurus, holy shit, look at that, the fool in the sun. Some of you guys could be accidentally getting pregnant, so please be extra cautious if you are not desiring that. If you want pregnancy, there's a very good chance it's coming towards you. Also, um, I do feel like whatever new beginning with this caterpillar um, is going to bring you extreme happiness and success. Two more shuffles for Taurus. Six cards. Who or what is coming towards them? I see newfound confidence. I see possibly a new business or a new brand. All right, let's see, Taurus. Bottom of the deck, page of swords. You could be learning some new skills right now. You could be in communication with someone um, about new ideas or you could also be looking up ideas online, uh, just doing research, being inquisitive and curious. Also, if you are in a love situation, I feel like you and your person may or may not be talking at this time, but you're certainly watching each other. Also, others of you may have an air sign child in your life, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Okay, let's see. Oh, I totally, 
Before I pull those six, I totally forgot this deck. Hang on, Taurus. Oh my, two more cards for Taurus, please. Still, I'm all over the place. Taurus, this is for Taurus. Who or what is coming towards Taurus? Two cards, please. Girl talk. So you guys are going to be talking with friends. You're moving on some. You're going to be happily single. I feel like you guys are getting out of a shitty relationship that you've been stuck in that you didn't think you would ever get out of. And you're about to. You're about to get out of it. And the important thing is that you not only kind of rest and relax and um, embrace your friends and live in the moment, stay present, but you have fun and you stay optimistic. One more card for Taurus, please. Thank you. And cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so some of you guys are have been keeping yourself stuck in this loop or this cycle um, either because of outdated thinking or like um, man I can't believe I gotta move this this is insane it's never in my face that much good gravy that's much better okay um, yeah I feel like some of you guys are breaking three breaking breaking free from um, outdated thinking or paradigms or ideas or um, dynamics or uh, doctrines that you have been fed your entire life. And I feel like this is going to be a time of victory and self-discovery for you. All right, here's those six cards for you, Taurus. Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, The Moon, Knight of Pentacles. So if you feel like somebody may have a secret crush or you have a secret crush on someone, I have an earth sign energy here and I have two water sign energies. Um, could be a child involved, would be a water sign child, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I see messages and travel. Um, I do see happiness here, wish fulfillment. I see some hidden stuff and some secrets. Could also be some hidden pain, but I do feel like between the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, you have the moon. I feel like somebody does have a secret crush on you. I feel like somebody may be waiting for you to get out of this turbulent situation or time in your life to approach you. Um, as you can see, this page of cups has their cup face towards the queen, but the queen is facing the other way, focused on something or someone else. So I do feel like this person could be younger than you, either energetically, spiritually, or in the 3D. And this person is just waiting for you to turn around and notice the fish in their cup. Um, I feel like once you go through this situation, there are going to be messages exchanged. And I feel like these messages are going to make you very, very happy. Um, the moon is Cancer Pisces energy. This talks about differences in communication style. This is unhealed childhood trauma. This is issues with the mother. This is uh, things are not as they seem. So I feel like maybe someone here has some trust issues. Uh, Aries kind of had the similar message, Taurus, and I feel like you're gonna be very cautious with this new person. Um, maybe you don't believe them, or maybe you're still dealing with trauma and issues from the past, but it's saying it is safe for you to love, and I feel like this person, if they're the person for you, is going to be willing to take it slow and steady and give you a stable, um, grounded offer. The Knight of Pentacles is ready to invest, okay? The Knight of Pentacles has something worth investing in. The Knight of Pentacles does not rush things. It is the slowest moving energy in the deck. And I feel like the reason that this person has been waiting for this time and this person has been taking it so slowly is because they honor and appreciate where you're at in your life right now. And they want to give you the time and space because they don't want to come in like the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Swords and ruin it. But there are feelings here. Could just be a little crush. I'm not saying this person's head over heels in love with you. But this person definitely looks up to you. They admire you. The, the page looks at a queen like um, like a mother, not like a mother, but like a something to um, aspire to. So this person is inspired by you. But anyways, they're just waiting for you to turn around and uh, notice their cup, okay? Um, it is safe for you to love. Rely on your friends at this time. Be mindful of any outdated thinking that you are succumbing to. And just hang on a little bit longer, Taurus. It is almost done and victory is almost yours, okay? Also, I do feel like somebody may want to go into business with you. This person, you, you and this person could either um, get pregnant or come up with a great business idea and go into business with each other. But this is, I, if it, excuse me, I feel like this is a great connection, okay? All right, Taurus, that is what I have for you. I hope you liked it and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. As always, Taurus, I love you very much. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. Gemini, how's it going?
All right, let's see spirit who or what is coming towards Gemini. What do they need to know? Gemini. We had a couple flip over. We have dark woman. So dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair and basket. Recognition and reward for merit. I love that. So some of you guys have been doing the right thing, doing, um, you know, have been achieving some accomplishments or some goals and you are going to be recognized for it. Two more cards for Gemini, please. Who or what is coming towards them? I'm not sure if you're getting recognition from this dark woman. Wreath. Sorry over sorrow over a loss. One more card for Gemini. So there will be a loss coming up for you, Gemini. Okay. And pineapple reconciliation. So I'm not sure if there's sorrow over a loss of a connection or relationship. For some of you, I feel like there may be a loss. Um, I mean, this isn't going to be for all of you, but if you experience a loss within the family or a friend or something like that. I feel like maybe when, you know how everybody gets together uh, around a loss, um, I do feel like maybe there could be reconciliation within the family or a relationship dynamic um, that will, you know, it is, I mean, it's important enough to show up in your reading. So there is someone coming back from your past. There is a reconciliation on the table. There is going to be some sorrow that you're dealing with, but everybody has to deal with that. And maybe Gemini, it's just your turn. And there's a dark woman involved. So I'm not sure if you're reconciling with a dark woman or if there's going to be a loss of a dark woman or if this dark woman is recognizing you, but there is a dark woman involved. Two cards, please, for Gemini. Who or what is coming towards them, Spirit? Thank you. Gemini, what do they need to know? That's way too many cards, but thank you for your enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, Gemini, two cards for Gemini, please. What do they need to know, Spirit? You got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So maybe some of you are reconciling and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you're flirting. Some of you could be newly single. Maybe you um, left a relationship and we're sing or are gonna be single and flirting and then maybe you're gonna be reconciling. But uh, flirt and engagement are kind of very different energies in this deck because flirt is a new, fresh, lighthearted energy, whereas engagement is like developing a relationship or moving it to the next level. So there is an interesting kind of dichotomy here. Let's get two cards for Gemini from this deck, please. Who or what is coming towards Gemini? Thank you, Spirit. Two cards, Gemini. Two cards for Gemini, please. Passion and the Grim Reaper. So for some of you, this could be an on-again, off-again situation. Um, or there has been a loss. Oh, and the Grim Reaper is right under Wreath. So for some of you, I don't feel like it's a death of a person, although it certainly could be. For some of you, I feel like this is just um, the end of who you used to be or the end of the cycle with this person or the end of a relationship. There is The relationship is over. There's no second chances. It's time to grow and transform your life. Um, passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun. So for some of you, you are flirting, you are engaging with someone else. Um, maybe you are flirting and engaging whilst trying to heal or um, disconnect from this energy here, but then we have reconciliation. Now, like I said, I feel like you could be running into someone from your past at say like a funeral or a celebration of life or a party or uh, a work thing with recognition and merit. Um, and I feel like it's it's gonna get flirtatious and you guys are gonna have a lot of chemistry and you may even start dating. Let's see, Spirit, who or what is coming towards Gemini? Six cards, please. What do they need to know? I feel like there is a Libra that is that has their eye on you or you have your eye on a Libra. Two more shuffles for Gemini. Also, I feel like in this last relationship, Gemini, you were not treated fairly. Like you don't think that things were balanced or feel like they were fair. So it's like you're a little guarded. But I feel like things are about to start going your way and going in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, this is for Gemini. Who or what is coming towards them with six cards, please. The Hierophant, look at that. Higher level of commitment. Could be with a Taurus, could have that in your chart. Some of you also are committed to spiritual growth. You could be seeking 
uh, qualified counsel. So this could be someone in the church. This is a, a wise person, an elder. Some of you have a direct connection or uh, relationship to God or source energy, but a lot of you guys are welcoming in a stable, committed relationship. Let's see what else is coming in for you. Six cards, please. The moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. The fool, Aries energy. Oh my God, three back-to-back -back major arcana. This is huge for you. The high priestess, a lot of you guys are going to be starting um, really, really focused on your spirituality. You could be psychic, mediums, readers, therapists. Um, some of you are going to start on this new journey. I'm hearing Reiki, Four of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Magician. There you are right at the end, Gemini. Someone is coming towards you with an offer of love. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, either this person offered you love before and you rejected it or they rejected you or just one of you, one of the two of you or both of you were emotionally unavailable or uninterested. Okay. I feel like there were some things that came to light about childhood or about some, um, illusions, maybe in a relationship, like someone was being dishonest, there were hidden secrets with the high priestess and the moon. Um, and then the fool in the middle, I feel like somebody was maybe a little foolish. If somebody fell for somebody's bullshit, I hate to say that Gemini, but that's how I feel. Um, I feel like maybe somebody here was getting readings or is getting readings, trying to kind of read between the lines, um, see the forest for the trees, um, is trying to figure things out or was trying to figure things out. Could be about this dark woman here. Interesting that the high priestess is under the basket and passion. For some of you, I do feel you're very passionate about a spiritual practice. Again, this could be um, tarot, psychic, medium, whatever. Um, I feel like if you are if you are in that industry or if you're starting that, it's going to be very fruitful for you. Now, um, some of you guys, because of the ending of this previous relationship or this loss, whatever this loss is, you may be uninterested in love, focused on these three empty cups and completely disregarding this cup here from the divine. But then I feel like there's something is something is going to happen. Um, I feel like once you completely digest this loss and you completely um, accept the fact that there is no going back, there are no second chances, and it's time to grow and transform, um, I feel like the right person with the right offer, and this could be the same cup, I'm not sure, but it's almost like interesting. It's like first they didn't want it, or you didn't want it, and then this person comes with that same cup, brings it to you on a horse and notice how the horse's head is down. So it's like the body language is like soft and subtle and not aggressive and look where it ends up on your table. So I do feel like there's someone that is coming to you that um, maybe before you wouldn't have been able to accept that offer. Maybe you were stuck in this relationship uh, or in this situation, but it's like now this person is bringing you the cup and I feel like this cup is the last thing you needed to manifest everything of your dreams. So Yes, you already have everything you need because all the love that you, you know, you are literally made of love. Um, but if you look at the magician card, he's got the wand, he's got the cup, he's got the pentacle and the sword. And with this person bringing you the cup, I feel like it's going to make you feel very fulfilled and complete. Okay. Um, also with the magician and the high priestess here and the moon, I feel like there's just a lot of magic. There's a lot of um, kind of metaphysical, esoteric energy. So both of you could be highly spiritual, highly intuitive, especially with the fact that this is a Knight of Cups. So again, it could be water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I have Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Gemini on the table. Sorry, not Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Pisces, Gemini. So Pisces is here twice. Anyways, I don't know why I'm going in on that. I'm just saying that I feel like um, you guys are going to be dealing with a loss of either a relationship or a person and that once you digest and accept that, uh, a beautiful offer will be coming towards you, okay? And I also feel like you guys are going to be embracing your spiritual side a lot more. Gemini, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Gemini, I love you very much. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is coming in for you, Spirit. Who or what is coming towards Cancer? What do they need to know? Four cards, please. Four cards for Cancer. All right, you got... <clears throat> Fair Woman, Broken Wishbone, Cain. So dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Wish will not be granted.
Pay attention to your health. Let's get one more for cancer, please. Some of you could be actually breaking a bone, so be careful. Or be dealing like with some like brittle bone, like um, arthritis or something like that. And dogs, getting together with friends. Okay, so maybe um, that's, you know, I have found sometimes, I, so I'm a Cancer Moon, and I have found sometimes, oh, interesting on the bottom, disappointment in some affair. So there's gonna be some disappointment and a wish not being granted, but you know what they say, rejection is God's protection. So I do feel like maybe this wish was just not meant for you. Uh, please pay attention to your health. But like I was gonna say, um, I feel like sometimes spending time with your friends, even if it is animals, spending time with friends and with other humans that you have similar um, values with or have similar, um, what am I trying to say, like things in common, especially a fair woman. If it's a fair woman, I feel like this woman could really be helpful in the near future for you, Cancer, but I feel like it's going to help you um, kind of process everything that's going on. And maybe someone will be able to give you some advice on how you can uh, take better care of yourself. Spirit, what is coming towards Cancer in love? Please, two cards. Well, that didn't take long. Getting to know each other. So there's a new connection here. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This could also be getting to know a friend or a fair woman. One more card, please, for Cancer. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I feel like you've been manifesting something or someone, or maybe you guys have just been trying to, you know, um, maybe you've been spending more time with friends, maybe with when you get a, a grip, I can't talk today, when you, when you get a grip on your health, and you start paying more attention to your health and how you are treating your own body, um, it will help kind of attract the type of partner that um, will fit this new season of your life. Let's get two more cards from this deck. Spirit, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two cards for Cancer, please. You got Mask, not showing true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslight. Some of you guys have been um, hiding your feelings, like not truly, I got two, so I'm gonna put them back. Not expressing your true feelings, so it's been showing up uh, in physical ways, like illness and ailments. Emotion is just energy in motion, and it needs to be processed and expressed, and if it's not fully processed and expressed, can manifest in illness or in negative ways, okay? Um, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection, okay? So I do feel like maybe I'm getting, um, somebody may have been on bed rest or somebody may have like hurt themselves, broken a bone, something like that, and it gave you some time to, in, to do some introspection and reflect um, on your life. Um, I do feel like there's a relationship coming in that you guys may be hesitant to really share your innermost selves with each other because getting to know each other is right next to, next to mask. But then I do feel like, you know, sometimes the most triggering relationships can be the most healing because they force us, like mirror, they force us to look at the wounds in ourselves or the things that trigger us and kind of develop ourselves, right? Spirit, can we please have six cards for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, look at that. You could definitely be getting, getting an offer for a stable, committed relationship very soon. Two more shuffles. What is coming towards Cancer? Six cards, please. One more shuffle. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Cancer? Six cards, please. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Lots of new, exciting stuff coming your way. Fancy. I do feel deeply that it has to do with a relationship. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. Look at that. Really focused on opportunity, work, abundance. The King of Pentacles reaps what he has sown, meaning he has put in lots and lots of time. I'm hearing 10,000 hours. Uh, they say that it takes 10,000 hours to master anything. I feel like the King of Pentacles is the one person in the deck who has done that, besides the Emperor. The King of Pentacles is very focused on abundance and career and um, growth. This is very, being very growth-minded. This is also being very stable and practical and grounded. Six cards for you, Cancer High Priestess, Pisces Energy, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, Nine of Cups, 
Ten of Wands. I definitely feel like you guys have been putting on a mask that you're happy and that you're okay and you're not. A lot of you guys need to do some introspection. You need to take, some of you guys have been just like almost in hermit mode. Like High Priestess and the Hermit are quiet. They watch, they observe, but they are on a mission to um, transform. Nine of Cups talks about kind of pleased as punch and happy, but then the Ten of Wands right behind it is like, this is too much to carry. This is, a, you know, trying to pretend you're happy when you're not happy is excruciating. It's more painful than being unhappy. Page of Wands, look at that message of passion. This is an invite. Queen of Cups, ooh. Ooh, okay. I do feel like someone is going to get your attention. A lot of you have been um, dealing with health issues or dealing with chronic pain or, um, you know, dealing with emotional pain from a breakup. But a lot of you guys have been hesitant to kind of meet new people because it's like you're almost kind of this hermit that would rather be at home alone, quiet, where things are um, predictable and comfortable, very King of Pentacles. Um, and I feel like for you, it's like, it's like a it, cancer for some, for some of you. I feel like it's, it almost feels like a burden to like put yourself out there, to like interact with people, to flirt, to, you know, you get an invite and it's like, you're like, I really don't want to go. Um, I feel like there is going to be some messages or some flirtation or some kind of um, invite or offer. Um, and I do feel like you're going to graciously accept and you could actually meet someone there. Um, it could be a little bit younger than you, could be a fire sign. Um, because this is you, Cancer, Queen of Cups, but it could also be a Virgo or a Pisces. Uh, yeah, a Pisces. I feel like you guys have definitely been tuning into your spirituality. You've really been praying a lot. You've been um, going within, trying to figure out why things feel so heavy right now, why things feel like such a burden right now. Again, I feel like some of you, maybe some friends are inviting you out. Uh, spending, you know, getting together with friends, you go out with friends and it's like all of a sudden you're open back up and you realize um, that there is a lot of love or people or experiences out there for you to experience and savor. Um, this experience on earth is meant to be enjoyed, not suffered through all of the time. Yes, suffering is uh, part of the human condition, but it is not mandatorily constant, right? I don't even know if mandatorily is a word. Anyways, I feel like you need to get back out there, Cancer. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Cancer, as always, I love you. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in your next reading. Take care. All right, next up we have Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, this is for Leo. Who or what is coming towards Leo? What do they need to know? Four cards, please. Leo. Leo, one more. Thank you. So you got Stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. Definitely smell a new business or a new brand coming here. Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. Wow, look at that, Leo. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it, yeah? And Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So there's someone of the same sex. Uh, it doesn't have to be romantic. I think it's just friendship. That is really going to be enriching your life in the coming days, okay? You are doing the right thing. You are on the road to success. A lot of you guys are getting downloads um, of ideas. Um, some of you are starting fresh. Some of you could be opening a new business, starting a new business, launching a new brand. Others of you could be hearing of a birth or could be even uh, conceiving. I don't know. Let's see. Spirit, what is coming towards Leo in love? Two cards, please. Leo. Leo, what do they need to know? There we go. New love. A new person has sturdy romantic feelings. Leo, ooh la la. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Now, financial issues don't, it doesn't have to mean that you're broke or you're struggling. It just means that maybe some of you are hyper-focused on career or opportunities right now. I mean, naturally, if you're starting a new business, if you're trying to um, round up capital or investments to open a business, or you're focused on succeeding in uh, the workplace, or if you're climbing the corporate ladder, obviously, um, that's going to affect your love life and your availability. But there's someone coming in for you, Leo, that is going to maybe change how you feel about all that. Two cards for Leo, please. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Especially about this new love. Stabbed in the back. Okay. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking 
attack. And coffee cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So some of you guys maybe were be, will be betrayed or disappointed by a new love situation, or you were recently betrayed um, in a friendship or a love situation, and you are just now considering opening yourself up to new love. You have been focusing on work to get through it, Leo. Um, and I do feel like you're gonna be getting together either for breakfast or coffee or a glass of wine or whatever. Um, now, tea, tea and coffee, it's hysterical. I feel like the tea is the same sex and I feel like the coffee would be more of a date. It says friendship, but I feel like it's more of like a, could be a friend you're interested in, or this is like, I don't know. This feels like a really good connection though. It feels comfortable and cozy and safe and someone who maybe understands your pain, someone who maybe has been through the same betrayal and pain that you have. And maybe there could be new love blossoming here. Also, you guys could be discussing going into business together and um, kind of the birth of a new opportunity or venture. Spirit, can we please have six cards for Leo? Who or what is coming towards them? Thank you very much. This is for Leo. Two more shuffles, Leo. Six cards for Leo, Spirit. Six cards for Leo. I just got the most incredible feeling. I'm gonna try not to cry. Leo, um, you know, I don't know if you grew up with, you know, Christmas or whatever, but it's like, I know we just came out of that season. Honey, I could not get my freaking tree down fast enough. My tree was down the morning of the 26th, but what I just got the feeling of was this very magical, it's like when you see Christmas, it's like the first night after all the neighbors have put up their lights and you're sipping hot chocolate and you, there's a Christmas song on and there's a chill in the air and you realize that it's the most wonderful time of the year. It felt magical. It just washed over me and made me feel very emotional. Ooh, one more shuffle. For some of you, I feel like this new love could be making you feel things you haven't felt in a really long time. Even if it's just safety and coziness. Maybe you guys have been really guarded Bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Um, you guys are either leaving something or have left something that was emotionally dissatisfying. Also, there could be somebody coming back towards you after they realized something that they were doing or involved with was emotionally dissatisfying, okay? Six cards for Leo. Ace of Wands, look at that. Under New Love and Stork. That's an exciting, passionate new beginning. My God, Emperor, Aries Energy. Six of Swords. King of Wands, there you are by the way. Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands. Um, the Seven of Swords does not feel, now I know that we have stabbed in the back here, so I do feel like there was a betrayal, but I feel like you have pretty much gotten a grip on that. Honestly, I don't even know why it came out here because I feel like um, you have been moving past that and healing from that. Some of you guys, like I said, have really been focusing on work. You have been taking control back. Others of you could be dealing with a new sexual partner or could just be feeling inspired and excited and passionate about someone uh, or just life in general, but this is very phallic. I feel like there's someone that makes you want to take control of your life, someone who makes you want to have your shit together, someone who gets you excited about life, someone who makes you feel like they can, like you can do it all. Uh, it could be dealing with an Aries here. Um, there is forward movement. I feel like there's finally moving away from sadness, sorrow, despair, chaos, unrest. Some of you are moving out of corporate, kind of moving away from working for someone and working for yourself, okay? Some of you guys definitely could be starting your own business, starting your own brand, at least conceptualizing it at this point. Some of you may have been keeping this a secret until it's time to move forward, okay? Um, I do feel like there's maybe been some travel or some messages done in secret. Maybe some of you have been searching for a new job or building this new brand or this new business or this new relationship in secret. Uh, I don't feel like, this new love, I don't feel like you're, you're telling anybody about it. I feel like because of what happened last time in your last situation, Leo, uh, I don't know what that was. It's gonna be different for all of you. Um, I feel like you are not really telling anybody about this, even though you're super excited and passionate about it. Um, it's got you feeling really in your element 
Um, you're, you're building your confidence. You are really ambitious and driven at this time, very magnetic. So be cautious and be aware of what you are thinking and doing because you are attracting things to you at warp speed at this time. But I do feel like there is um, a time coming where it will no longer be a secret. You will be launching Eight of Wands or expressing Eight of Wands or telling people sharing Eight of Wands could quite possibly be with a friend that is of the same sex. You could be expressing, hey dude, look, um, I'm opening my own business or I'm going into business for myself or I'm in love. I've met someone new or um, you know whatever that is or hey, I'm taking charge of my finances or whatever the case. Um, but that's really exciting, Leo. I see really good, magical, beautiful stuff coming for you. I just feel like you've got to get past this kind of stabbed in the back, move past it. I feel like you're on your way past it. You are on the road to success, new creative ideas. You are brimming with creativity and excitement in the near future, and I love that for you, Leo. It's a good look. But remember, it's okay to keep things close to the vest. It's okay to keep things secret until you feel like it's okay to share them. Don't feel pressured to let people in on all of your secrets, okay? Leo, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I hope it helps. Please like this video so I can continue to... Um, sorry, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. Leo, as always, I love you. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you soon. I'm going to shuffle these real quick before we go to Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards Virgo spirit? Four cards for Virgo. Some of you will be asserting authority or will be um, getting a promotion. Of course, we had one fall on the floor because I have to sing for my supper. Ooh, we got some changes coming. I'm hearing um, Change Gon' Come by Sam Cook. Throne, position of authority, moon, changes in your life. Bird flying, news is on the way. And handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Wow, these are very kind of mystical cars, very mysterious. Um, things are changing like a moon, there are phases, right? Uh, we did just have the new moon in Capricorn, so I don't know if maybe that new moon, new moon in Capricorn has kind of launched this, um, this change for you, Virgo, but there's a position of authority here. Some of you guys, like I said, could definitely be uh, getting a promotion or um, people could be coming to you to consult with them. Maybe somebody thinks you are the authority on a specific topic, um, but they're, you know, the throne, that's king or queen, honey. That's royalty, so you're, you're going to be uh, regarded as such in the coming future. News is on the way. It could be a message from someone, could be news about a job, could be news about your life. And meeting with a stranger could be important. This stranger that you meet uh, could deliver a message, could be a catalyst for some change in your life, or could even uh, grant some type of authority to you. I don't, I don't know. Let's find out more. Spirit, two cards for what or who is coming towards Virgo. Two cards for Virgo, please, Spirit. Got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I feel like there's a situation or a person that maybe just wasn't it for you, just didn't do it. Oh, true love, this is the romance of a lifetime. So if you feel like you were recently disappointed in a love situation or even a love a potential love situation, um, I feel like true love is right around the corner for you. It's right under news is on the way and stranger. So you could quite possibly be like running into someone. Um, or getting a message from someone you haven't heard from in forever, or this person could be a complete stranger, and turns out it could be the romance of a lifetime. I don't know. That's going to be different for every Virgo. That's amazing. Two cards, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Virgo. Two cards for Virgo. It may not even be the stranger. Maybe the stranger has a brother or a sister and you meet them. It's, it's, yeah. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. Guys, listen. I feel like maybe before Virgo, you would have fallen for this unrequited love situation. Like, you would have settled or, you know, whatever. But it's like, now you're choosing you. You're like, if it's not everything that I want and I wish for myself and I dream about, it, it's not for me. And you are indulging in self-care and self-love and you are... 
being happier. You are finding more joy and making healthier choices in your life. One more card for Virgo, please. Kisses. Look at that. Yeah, you're going to be meeting someone new. Maybe making out. There's some unconditionally loving energy here. Giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Um, I love that. Especially after this unrequited love situation. It's like, you know, you're either turning someone down because you don't feel like they are for you or you were turned down. But then it's like instead of just spiraling and, and you know, feeling sorry for yourself and going down a rabbit hole of despair, you decided to make healthy choices. And now that is allowing true love to find its way to you. That's beautiful. Three shuffles and, oh, look at that. Yep, unrequited love, true love. Look at that. Can't make this shit up, guys. All right, this is for Virgo Spirit. Six cards for who or what is coming towards them and what they need to know. Thank you. Two more shuffles, Virgo. Some of you guys are really stressed out, wondering if you would be always single, if you would ever find the person that you were really compatible with, that you saw eye to eye with. They're coming. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. I don't feel like this person would be overly emotional, but they'd be very, very wise and logical and practical. Spirit, this is for Virgo. Six cards for Virgo. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. Look at you, ready to take action. Waiting for your ships to come in. This is making plans. This is, I've made a decision and now I'm ready to take action. Just waiting for the right time. Six cards for Virgo. Four of cups. There's that unrequited love. Look at that. Can't make it up. Some of you could have had an unrequited love situation with a boss or with a um, subordinate. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with one or have that in your chart. Six of swords. Moving forward. Moving past something. Five of Swords, Four of Wands under True Love, and Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a stable new opportunity coming in for love for you. This could be a soulmate union. You guys could end up living together. You could end up raising a family together. I don't know. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Um, I do feel like there's some trust issues here. I do feel like some of you um, would like... One step forward, two steps back. That's what I get with the um, Six of Swords and the Five of Swords. It's like moving forward, but then it's like keep revisiting that kind of hostile, ruthless. Um, you know, the Five of Swords is like winning at all costs, sabotage. Some of you were self-sabotaging before. And I feel like you're making healthier choices. You're coming out of that. You're moving past that because you want to... I'm hearing some of you guys are making healthier choices because you want to become the perfect partner for your perfect partner. Excuse me. I'm stretching and that makes me yawn sometimes. <laughs> I feel like you guys were transmuting this energy of unrequited love or rejection into self-love. Okay. That's what I get for cups temperance. Um, and I feel like spirit, this is your spirit guide here. Spirit led you away. Some of you guys could be a single parent. Spirit led you away from this unrequited love situation to give you the opportunity to make healthy choices and to stop self-sabotaging and stop allowing other people to sabotage you and get one over on you and take advantage of you so that you could draw in this true love situation. Page of Pentacles. Again, you could have an earth sign child or you could be um, dealing with someone who's a little bit younger than you. Um, but either way, the Page of Pentacles is... A new opportunity. This is a practical new opportunity. This is an investment. This is an offer or an invitation. And I feel like you should take it. Could be coming from a stranger. Could be the news that's on the way, but I feel like it's going to lead you towards true love, Virgo. That is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Virgo, as always, I love you and I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Let's see what we have for you. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Libra? What do they need to know? This is for Libra. Four cards, please. Libra. Cat, a two-faced friend. That is the first time I've ever pulled that card from this deck. And I've been using this deck for nearly five months. Three more cards for Libra. Wreath, sorrow over a loss, Libra. Whoa, that's way too many cards. Okay. This is for Libra. Two more cards for Libra, please. Two more cards for Libra. What do they need to know? 
grapes. Time to go out and have fun. Some of you guys could be cutting out this two-faced friend. Could even be a relationship. One more card for Libra, please. Thank you. And yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Yeah, you guys are feeling really frustrated, uh, dealing with some kind of loss. It's time to relax and go have some fun. And you've got a two-faced friend around you, so be aware. I feel like you guys have had suspicions about this person. Um, it's almost like a Jekyll and Hyde, this person. And it doesn't mean that they're like betraying you, um, but I feel like this person is one way with you and another way with other people. This could also be you. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, I feel like you're gonna be dealing with a lot in the coming days, Libra. So I feel like it's important that you uh, make time, make time, make time, make it. If you don't have it, make it. We have the same 24 hours in a day as Gandhi and Beyonce. Okay, okay. Libra, let's see who or what is coming towards you in love. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two cards, please, for Libra. Thank you. Flirt and playfulness. Well, okay then. So there is someone in your atmosphere. This is someone new, probably. Um, extend your lighthearted energy to others and to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel like playfulness isn't necessarily for the romance part. I feel, I mean, it is, but also I feel like it's a good way for you to kind of release all of this tension or this frustration or this sorrow uh, would be just to kind of play, you know, play, paint, throw a ball around, go throw an ax at something, you know, obviously like an ax throwing place, go paintball, uh, paintballing, go laser tag, go bowling, like do something fun. Uh, but you will be flirting with someone. So I feel like there's someone new in your energy or someone will be flirting with you. Spirit, can we please have two cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Two cards for Libra. Two cards for Libra, thank you. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories, and Cupid's arrow. Okay, so I do feel like there could actually be a loss of a person here. Could be looking through pictures, looking for pictures of them, um, making, you know, trying to make new memories after the loss of a relationship, perhaps. Uh, Cupid's arrow and flirt. Look at that. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting, but with hesitation. So Libra, either you're going to be reaching out to someone or they're going to be reaching out to you. This could be some like a flirtatious message that this could be, hey, let's go out and have some fun. Uh, this is an invite to go do something. Now, I don't know if you're hesitating because maybe the two-faced friend will be there or maybe you feel like you're too tied down or frustrated or busy, uh, but I feel like you should go and you should uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others and be playful, play around a little bit more. Spirit, six cards for Libra, who or what is coming towards them. Yeah, I do feel like there was an ending, but you're, you're ready to move forward and take action and get your power back. Well, that was weird. I just got crazy chills. Could be dealing with a cancer or just ready to move forward past this ending. There has been an ending. One more shuffle for Libra and then six cards, please. The lovers and the chariot, look at that. Libra, bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. So this is rejection. Some of you rejected someone or were rejected. This is also uninterested in love or emotionally unavailable. This is being hung up on three empty cups when God is trying to hand you a cup. And you're like, no, I'm good. I'm gonna stare at these three empty cups and focus on what no longer exists or what I wish was or whatever and completely off, you know, ignoring this offer. That's nice. Six there are six cups, six cards, please, for Libra. Feeling overworked, overburdened, and overwhelmed. Judgment. Somebody could be coming back from the past, and this could be an absolute surprise, or there could be a surprise judgment day. Somebody could be held accountable. You could be being held accountable, or you could be holding this two-faced friend accountable. Reconsidering an investment, reconsidering a relationship, reconsidering where to invest your time, effort, energy, and money reuniting look at that three of cups with the cupid's arrow grapes and playfulness 
This is about going out, having fun, having some drinks, reuniting, getting together with friends, keeping it light, you know, just having a good time, enjoying your time on earth. It's not all about work and money and stress. It's, you know, it's okay to enjoy your life. Look at that, right? When I said it's okay to enjoy your life, it's like someone is really weary. Someone is really, really leery of having too much fun or enjoying uh, too much of their life. Now, for some of you, for some of you, there could have been a third party situation and I'm not only saying that because of the three of cups, I'm also saying that because sorrow over, sorrow over a loss, a two-faced friend, camera, flirt, Cupid's arrow, judgment, and the tower and the 10 of wands. Some of you could have released a third party because it was too much stress. Others of you um, may be releasing a relationship because it's too much, too much stress and it could be coming suddenly. Also, um, I feel like if there was a third party uh, and you, somebody could be confronted with that, you could be confronted with a third party situation um, out of nowhere. And it's like somebody has some, um, I'm hearing Lucy, you have some explaining to do. So um, judgment, judgment day, the tower coming suddenly and it's gonna shake things up. The tower is basically um, divine rerouting. It's, 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 universal intervention, okay? When something is not going the way it should or when someone is not behaving accordingly, sometimes if the universe see, sees fit, and in this case with judgment in the tower, they absolutely do see fit to come in and shake some shit up. And then it's going to make someone, you, Libra, consider, you know, hey, um, do I really wanna keep investing in this? Look at this guy, he has a black eye. So it's like, this guy is like, war torn and beaten down it's like he's been pouring up to seven years into a job a relationship and it's like how much more can i take like it's only going to grow so much it's like trying to water a dead plant it may be time to pull this plant out by the root and put it elsewhere three of cups going out and having fun spending time with friends reuniting just having a good time nine of wands is very cautious um very kind of i could even be paranoid um, this is like the wounded warrior. This is um, very, very guarded. So I feel some of you really need to let your guard down. And I feel like for some of you, like I said, it may be hard because there is this two-faced friend. So it's like maybe you feel like because someone betrayed you in the past, you have to be really cautious or guarded. But I don't feel like that's the case. Also, I am seeing somebody could go to jail here. And the only reason I'm saying that is because the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands both look like jail and judgment in a tower. Somebody could be going to jail or getting out of jail. That's going to be for like maybe one of you. But I just, I had to say that because it just popped out like neon lights. All right. That is what I have for you, Libra. Sorry about my phone going off in the background. In the background, I forgot to put it on silent. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for being here, Libra. I hope your reading helps and I hope you enjoy it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue to pull your energy for future readings. Libra, as always, I love you. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Scorpio, let me go get a drink. I'll be right back. I love you, mommy. I love you too. It's quiet time, okay? Scorpio, here we are. Let me check one thing real quick. Okay, sweet. All right, Spirit, who or what is coming towards Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do they need to know? You got a younger woman, dealings or relationship with a younger woman. This could be a child, this could be someone at work, or it could be a love interest or a friend. Three more cards, please, for Scorpio spirit. What do they need to know? Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Three more cards. You got table, hard work ahead. You got pin, new job or career.
and carrot, opportunity or windfall. Wow. Some of you guys could be taking a new job or starting a new career that could be an excellent opportunity for you, could be very lucrative. I'm getting that this younger woman could be a boss. I'm also getting that this younger woman could be the one that um, makes you aware of this opportunity or this younger woman is maybe one of the reasons why you're leaving your job. I'm not sure. Let's find out more. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Scorpio? What do they need to know? Please and thank you. Two cards for Scorpio. Here we go. Passion and past life relationship. Well, uh, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and you have known each other before. So there is a wicked strong connection here. Very, very passionate. And the reason it feels so strong and passionate is because you have known each other before. This is a past life relationship. Spirit, let's get some more energy for Scorpio. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know, please? This is for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Spirit, thank you. So hand of cards, take a chance or risk being strategic options, not showing hand and gambling. Some of you guys could be hiding the fact that you are moving jobs or taking a new career opportunity. Also, um, if you are w experiencing a windfall, you guys could be very secretive about how you, or strategic about how you plan on spending or investing that money. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block and restraint. Some of you guys could be dealing with a passionate connection that while it's passionate and it feels familiar, uh, it's, it's kind of that better the devil you know, okay? I feel like someone here is dealing with someone that just because it's passionate and familiar doesn't mean it's good for you, okay? There could also be some addictions that you need to address. This could be drinking, smoking, shopping, sex, love, whatever it is, um, or just a codependent dynamic, but I feel like that is going to be coming to a head Spirit, can we please have six cards for who or what is coming towards Scorpio, please? Three shuffles. Scorpio. Scorpio. bottom of the deck Scorpio you have the page of cups here's a little message of love a little sweet message okay could be from this person maybe they're trying to reconcile this could also be a new job trying to get you to this is like a recruiter or someone that is trying to um, basically uh, woo you okay this could be work or love six cards for Scorpio look at that tower first card out your energy Aries and Scorpio energy oh something happened that really stressed you out or will be happening rather. Keeping you up at night, moving forward, deliberating, focusing on work and money and stability. Wish fulfillment and happiness and then leaving something that is emotionally dissatisfying. Okay, so for some of you, you could be dealing with a Cancer or you could be dealing with an Aries or another Scorpio. But I feel like something happened. Um, the tower is universal rerouting. It's like when the divine is like, mm, this isn't what you're supposed to be doing. We need to shift some things. So something happens suddenly. Uh, oftentimes it drives two lovers apart. Either way, um, this could have been a sudden ending of a relationship or um, even the sudden, sudden beginning of a relationship. Like this relationship is so passionate. I don't know what to do. It's like someone is really anxious and stressed out up at night, um, giving deep thought to a relationship or a connection or a situation, the chariot. Um, this is the chariot in the rider way is about home life stability. But as you see, there's no movement here. Okay. It's like, um, contemplating whether or not to move forward. Okay. Um, some of you could be contemplating moving, um, stressed out about if you're going to get the house stressed. I'm seeing, Oh my, did somebody have some storm damage from their house? The tower, Nine of Swords in the Chariot. I feel like somebody could be struck like roof damage or a fire or maybe one of the tornadoes. If so, I'm so sorry. Anyways, um, I do feel like there's some stress about maybe having to move or needing to move, uh, whether or not you'll have the money, be able to afford it. 
Um, for others of you, you are really focusing on your finances at this time. Some of you could be breaking free from an addiction or a codependent relationship for financial and self-love purposes, okay? Um, you're deciding that, because the Queen of Pentacles knows her value. And when you know your value, you are least you are less likely to involve yourself in a codependent relationship. Also have an addiction, okay? When people struggle with self-value, um, they oftentimes will struggle in a codependent relationship or with addictions, which also um, you know, stops your money. I feel like once you start really nurturing yourself and you start kind of focusing on your own abundance, you're going to experience a new level of satisfaction and happiness and it's gonna make it easier for you to leave behind anything that is less than the Knight of Cups, which is the Eight of Cups. Leaving something behind that is emotionally dissatisfying. Could be an addiction, could be this past life relationship, could be an old job. Um, it's like you've gotten a taste of something better and it's like you are, um, you are sacrificing what needs to be sacrificed Right? It's like you've done the thinking, you're, you've done the thinking, you've done the stressing. Now it's time to take action and move and walk away. Okay? Because, like, this is something sudden happening. It's like considering, 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 kind of sitting in the idea of it or sitting in the happiness and then deciding to finally leave and walk away. Okay? So it is hard work. Nobody said it would be easy. I'm hearing, nobody said it was easy. Coldplay. Um, it's such, a, it's such a shame for us to part. So there is, a, there is a relationship ending here. There's a codependent relationship ending. Could come as a shock. Something happened as a shock. Maybe the relationship, like I said, started as a shock and it was like too hot, too passionate in the beginning and it just wasn't built to last. And it's like you are walking away from it because it's just not doing it for you anymore. Same with the job. Same exact thing. And I feel like you're walking towards new opportunities and a windfall, okay? Scorpio, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Scorpio, I love you very much and I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome back to my channel. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? Thank you. Four cards for Sag. Three more cards for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. I'm seeing the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland. It's like that grin, that mischievous grin. In and out, hiding. Hmm. One more card, thank you. All right, what do we have here? We have Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Whale, great worry over nothing. Teardrops, great personal sorrow. And older man, dealings or relationship with an older man could be a boss, a friend, a lover, a father figure. Um, I feel like you're really going through it, Sagittarius. I feel like there's someone around you that is boastful or arrogant, or it could be you. Um, although I don't know many boastful, arrogant Sagittarians, but that's just me. Um, I feel like there's something that you're worried about that you really have no need to worry about. There's something that's stressing you out unnecessarily. And I feel like the reason that it's that you're allowing this kind of nothing to stress you out is because there's other factors in your life that you may be grieving or mourning or dealing with. Could have something to do with this older man. This older man looks sickly, so I don't know if you're dealing with a sick older man or maybe the old man is the rooster who's boastful and arrogant. But um, I definitely see some complicated emotions here and I feel like um, someone here, Sagittarius, and I feel like it's you, are projecting worry onto other people or other situations unnecessarily because you have unprocessed sorrow and emotions that have to do with something completely unrelated, okay? Spirit, can we please have two cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Who or what do they need to know? Chemistry just flipped around, so there's a strong magnetic attraction around you. I don't know if that's the person you're in a relationship with or if you're talking to this person, if you've even met them yet but there's someone that you are gonna have insane chemistry with. Two cards, please, for Sagittarius. You got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Some of you guys feel like you have relinquished control to uh, maybe your job or maybe um, the kids or a family situation or maybe you're taking care of your parents or taking care of someone 
Um, maybe you are, you just, you're stuck in something you don't want to be in and it's time to free yourself. Could it even be an addiction? It's time to take control back of your life. I feel like maybe that's what's giving you this great personal sorrow. Maybe some of you are staying stuck because you don't want to deal with this rooster. Love yourself first. Look at that. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I feel like um, the moment you stop over giving, you cannot pour from an empty cup, Sagittarius, okay? You have to love yourself first. That way you can give true, authentic love. When you are constantly coming from a place of dogma, which is basically living your life hyper-concerned about what other people think about you and their opinions of you, that's dogma. When you live in that state, it's going to cause great personal sorrow and it's going to cause you to worry over nothing because you're gonna constantly be worried about what other people think. Fuck this rooster, just saying. You should not cross, fuck that rooster, kick it, okay? Don't literally go kick a rooster, but you get what I'm saying. And if it's this older man, he's old, he's lived his life, he's gonna die soon anyways. I'm sorry, but I just feel like you need to give the big middle finger to people around you who it's like, you know, I feel like there's people around you that are taking from you, that are controlling you or trying to control you, manipulating you, and you need to give a big fat middle finger or two of them to those people and say, you know what? No, I respect myself. I love myself first and I'm going to free myself so that I can actually enjoy my planet, my, my planet Earth experience instead of dreading it. I feel like a lot of you Sagittarians, and this is so bizarre, but I feel like this is true. I feel like a lot of you guys are really not fucking vibing right now, okay? You're not enjoying your life right now and we need to change that because that is not what we are here to do, okay? Spirit, can we please have two cards for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Sagittarius, two cards. You got heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. So some of you guys are freeing yourself from a connection to, to be with someone else or freeing yourself from a life of restriction. I feel like there's a lot of restrictive energy around you. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to be choosing not only self-love, but this, um, this new love opportunity. You're going to be getting together with them and it's going to be perfect. One more card. Not today. Look at that. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call or person, boundaries, and still angry. So um, mm, there's a difficult conversation that needs to be had. Could be with a friend, an older man, a relationship, I'm not sure, but it's like someone's been putting it off and it needs to get, it's like just rip the bandaid off and get it over with. Um, someone needs to set boundaries, okay? With someone who maybe, you know, you ever had somebody that calls and like vents? They never ask you how your day is. They just call you and they bitch or someone who takes advantage of you or maybe you're running away from your hurt feelings. Maybe you're avoiding your great personal sorrow it's time to stop avoiding. There is someone here that's still angry and I feel like it's you, um, but I feel like once you set some boundaries and you free yourself from these people, these energy vampires, you will kind of welcome in a really true, authentic and lovely love, whether it's self-love or romantic love, I feel like it's both. Spirit, can we please have six cards for Sagittarius? Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Two more shuffles, Sag. Six cards for Sagittarius. Some of you have big feelings for someone, but you feel very guarded, like you can't reach out to them or you can't express your feelings. You feel like a wounded warrior. You feel very, very guarded. One more shuffle for Sagittarius. Slow but steady wins the race. Stable, stable. Sagittarius, bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands, look at that. Jesus, this is new, exciting uh, opportunity. This is a new sexual partner. This is extreme passion. This is a brilliant idea. This is a great, new, fiery, passionate beginning. Six cards for Sagittarius. The moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Eight of Wands. Justice, Libra, Energy. Ace of Swords, wow. Ten of Pentacles. And Six of Pentacles. Okay, whew, this is a lot of energy here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Libra, or have that in your chart. Sagittarius, there are some things that are hidden. There is some pain and trauma that has yet to be processed. I feel like some of you guys need to talk to someone or express it. 
Um, I feel like some of you guys want to travel towards someone or want to talk to someone where you feel like there was an injustice done. I don't know if they feel like things were unfair, if you feel like things were unfair. Somebody wants to talk about something that was unfair. Justice and Ace of Swords. The truth always wins. The truth will come out. Justice will be served. Whether it's towards you or someone else, justice will always be served. Karmic justice, 3D justice. I don't care if this is the legal system. Some of you could be getting divorced. Um, but some of you could be ending a contract in terms of, um, or even getting into a contract. You could be ending a long-term family situation, 10 of pentacles. Um, the ace of swords cuts things off as well. And justice is a signifier of legal documents and proceedings. Um, with the 10 of pentacles and the six of pentacles, I feel like there has been an imbalance. Someone here may have been over giving in this relationship. Someone was giving more than the other person. And I feel like someone was in this for stability and someone now is ready to give somewhere else to someone else. Someone was um, unwilling to speak the truth. They were avoiding their feelings. Someone was avoiding expressing um, their sorrow, avoiding expressing their dissatisfaction in a relationship. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I feel like the older man could be a father figure or somebody in the family that maybe gave some poor advice. Um, I feel like this older man is from a generation where maybe it's like you get married and you just stick it out. You know, you stay for the kids, you stay for the money, you stay because you have to. Um, have you ever considered that maybe you and this older man do not share the same values? You guys were not put on here for the, put, put here on this planet for the same objectives and the same journey. Just saying this older man could also be a judge or um, an attorney or a mediator. I feel like there's been a lack of um, ability to communicate clearly. So the moon talks about kind of things are not as they seem, things are bubbling beneath the surface, no one is able to communicate clearly, two very different love languages and styles of communication. I feel like someone's going to say, hey, you know, I, I'm not sure this is working anymore and I think I need to free myself. I think I need to focus on myself right now and I need to give myself more attention and not this relationship. Because I, f I feel like Sagittarius, you know that if you give the time, effort, energy, and resources, and love, and attention to yourself, you will um, attract this heart with the key energy. You will attract the energy, the love that is meant for you. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So some of you guys are going to be focusing on yourself and on your business and on your stability and on getting clarity and just living a more authentic life. Ace of Swords and Justice is, is, is authenticity. And with that, when you speak the truth, when you're honest, when you're clear, when you're cut and dry, when you are fair, good things happen. You get stability, you get fairness, you get you know things that are due you. Six of Pentacles talks about getting what you deserve. Okay, I feel like once you <clears throat> make the decision to free yourself from whatever toxic situation or codependent cycle or whatever this is, um, something that always had you confused, that you were always reading between the lines, always trying to figure shit out. Uh, it was like it just never worked out. Um, finally, you're gonna be moving towards success, clarity, authenticity, and stability, okay? Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Sagittarius, as always, I love you very much. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Capricorn? What do they need to know? Yes, honey? It's too long. I'm almost done. The reading is too long. Okay, my child says the reading is too long. I will be done in a few minutes. Thank you. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Capricorn? I love how this child doesn't act like she has a brand new renovated room, like she doesn't have this, a brand new renovated room with a shit ton of toys, a TV, a phone, paint supplies, stuff to draw, a whole three bedroom, two bath house that she can go and she basically has free reign over and she wants to tell me my reading is taking too long. I truly gave birth to myself, okay? <laughs> Spirit, who or what is coming towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? What do they need to know? <laughs> My little ginger. What does Capricorn need to know? Two more cards, please. Capricorn. There we go. All right. You got kite vacation. Some of you need a vacation. You just got home from vacation or you're on one now. 
April. I feel like Aries or Taurus got this, maybe Gemini. Anyways, um, they got the same thing, vacation in April. So you may be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, or Gemini. Anywho, vacation, April. Some of you could be planning a vacation in April. Pig, beware of greed. Oink, oink. And pale, time to get out of a situation. So there's a situation you're in where either someone's being greedy or you're being greedy. They could be unrelated, but um, also if you're getting out of a situation, it's probably going to happen by April. Um, and beware that you're not greedy in terms of like if it's a marriage or a live-in situation or a job, make sure that you are being fair, okay? But it's time to go. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Capricorn? What do they need to know? Two cards for Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Free yourself. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius got that too. Time to get out. Free yourself. You're in a situation that where someone may be greedy, could be dealing with an, uh, an Aries or a Taurus. I feel like you may have gone on vacation with this person and maybe something happened and you realized that it was time to get out of the situation. That's going to be for like one of you, but it's time to take back control of your life. I feel like your life has been at the hands of this person or this situation for far too long and it's time to get out attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so a lot of you guys need to practice being more present um really truly savoring who and what is around you savoring just the beauty of kind of this life this human experience on earth uh, and the more that you are able to do that the more you will ro uh, will attract romantic love okay being present spirit two cards for capricorn sun moon rising and venus please thank you who or what is coming towards them what do they need to know I definitely feel like there's an ending here for sure. Two cards for Capricorn. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. Some of you guys could be leaving one situation, going back to someone else from the past. Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Um, I do feel like you guys need to definitely focus on self-love and self-care at this time. Um, shadow work is huge. If you integrate shadow work into your daily practice, it will completely transform your life. <clears throat> a lot of people are unclear as to what shadow work means. Shadow work basically is journaling or meditating on the darker sides of the human ex uh, exper experience, right? So past pain, past trauma, um, deep, dark stuff that we don't really delve into. And I feel like when you shine light on those dark parts, when you shine light on the shadows, it illuminates everything and kind of helps lighten things and clear things up for you and can definitely be very healing. You are entering a new phase and you could be rekindling with someone from your past, renewing something. There is some transformation and growth going on here and you are changing your mind. I feel like you have changed your mind. Spirit, can we please get six cards for who or what is coming towards Capricorn and what they need to know? Thank you. Two more shuffles for Capricorn. Six cards. Who or what is coming towards them? Yeah, I feel like there could be definitely a cold and detached ending, and there could be a hot, passionate new beginning elsewhere. Ooh, look at that. Ace of Swords, King of Swords. Definitely an ending. Could definitely could also be a divorce. Somebody could be leaving a job, but I feel like it's romantic. Somebody find I'm hearing um I saw the sign by Ace of Base. Look at that. Five of Cups. This is very similar to the Four of Cups in that. So focused on these three empty ass, old ass, has been cups that we're just going to completely ignore the two cups behind you that are completely filled to the brim with divine love and new opportunity. But I feel like that's in the past. I feel like there's going to be some grief and some mourning, obviously. I mean, when you leave a situation behind that either you were codependent in or, you, you know, even if it was a marriage, I mean, I've been divorced twice, guys, and both marriages, obviously I left for a reason. I initiated both divorces, but you still grieve that. There's grief. It's like the death of a marriage, the death of a love, the death of a situation. Okay, let's continue. Capricorn. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, feeling very guarded. Ooh, very guarded. The Miser of the Tarot, Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be penny pitching at this time or saving money, trying to save to move out, trying to be more frugal. Also, you could be holding back or holding on. Look at that. There's the ending, the world. The Tower, sudden ending. Oh, shit. Sudden ending. Okay, you have a sudden ending coming. Great. Page of Swords. Could have something to do with someone spying or, or there could be messages or somebody could just... The Empress could be a pregnancy involved here or a child. Uh, wow. 
somebody was holding on to a situation or a relationship for dear life. Um, it was like better the devil you know. This was comfortable, predictable, and safe. Um, but it's it's an inevitable ending, and because somebody held on to, to it for so long, now it's going to be extra painful. I hate to say that, but it is what it is. Um, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus or the, the parent of a child of yours. <sighs> I'm getting something, and I really don't want to share it. I, I, I have to, though, because I, I promised you guys and I promised my guides um, that if it comes up, it comes out. Somebody could be finding out that they are not the father of a child or something about a, something about a pregnancy, um, something shocking, like shocking sudden news about a pregnancy or about the parent of their child, paternity. Somebody was really, really holding on tooth and nail and it's time to free yourself. Look at, look at these two cards here. Both of these guys look like they need to free themselves. This guy is just scared shitless and just afraid to move and has walls up all over the place and is super guarded and paranoid. This guy is holding on for dear life, like bro, let go. I'm holding hold, I'm hearing hold on loosely. Hold on loosely, but don't let go. If you cling too tightly, you're gonna lose control. Just saying. I feel like someone hung on to something so long and so tight that the universe was like, how many times do we have to tell you this is not for you? So now there's a forced ending. And now you're gonna have to heal from it and you're gonna have to self-care and self-love your way out of it. Could be exchanging messages with a Libra or Taurus or um, a mother energy. The Empress is um, the divine feminine, okay? The Empress is all of the queens combined the Empress is, uh, knows her worth and is very abundant. So you could be, um, basically you could be communicating with a business owner, with a mother, with someone who's in the beauty industry, um, hearing hairstylist or hairdresser, somebody like makeup, um, photography. I mean, it's, it's something, there's something to do with the attraction and the Empress and the Page of Swords. It's like you're keeping your eye on someone and you're talking to someone. So it's almost like an ending and a new beginning here, which is very indicative of the Phoenix. Also, this is Libra Taurus, and Taurus does start on April 20th, so you could be dealing with one or have that in your chart, but it is time to get out of the situation. Whatever situation you're in right now that has you feeling constricted, restricted, bound, obligated, something you've been holding on to tooth and nail, it is over. The time is now. I see Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, and Scorpio here. I also see Aries and Taurus here with April. Capricorn, that is your reading. It's time to go, and it's time to focus on yourself. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and interesting Ace of Cups right under that. Mm, look at that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Capricorn, I love you and I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Take care. Okay, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for you, Spirit. Who or what is coming towards Aquarius? What do they need to know? You got I, Psychic Ability. Trust your intuition. What else is coming towards Aquarius? What do they need to know? Your gut is telling you something, Aquarius, and you need to trust it. Okay, I'm only going to take these three because those were the three that came out. Beetle, February, and Fox. So Aquarius, some of you could be born in February. Good fortune, look at that. Could also be experiencing excellent fortune in February and you could even feel this coming. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Some of you feel psychically led to be a little bit more shrewd and resourceful in life or in business. Um, and this could lead to great success and good fortune. I feel like February is gonna be an excellent month for you, especially financially and for your intuition or any psychic gifts. Some of you could also be capitalizing on your psychic gifts. And you may need, feel the need to be shrewd or resourceful. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Aquarius? What do they need to know? Two cards, please. Let me check my phone. Sweet. Two cards for Aquarius, please, Spirit. One more. Aquarius. Thank you. These cards have been very, very 
good today. They really wanted to talk. Calling in your soulmate and wedding, but it came out in reverse. Interesting. So some of you are ending a situation because it's not what you want. I'm gonna put it upright, but it did come out in reverse. The situation does involve a marriage or a live-in situation because not everybody gets married these days. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I feel like you've been calling in your soulmate or manifesting someone or manifesting trying to get out of a marriage. You could also be manifesting someone that is married. Be careful with that. <laughs> Spirit, who or what is coming towards Aquarius? What do they need to know? Two cards, please, for Aquarius. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. And lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Um, this could be a sudden ending or a sudden entering into a marriage. This soulmate could be suddenly entering your life. And I feel like it's going to happen suddenly and quickly and beautifully because you're, you're making healthy choices. I feel like you're attracting good fortune. You're attracting your soulmate. Look at all these beautiful things you're drawing into you. You're really honing in on your intuition and training your third eye. I'm telling you, February is going to be huge for you. Lightning is right under it. February is going to be huge for you. Mark my words. Save this video. Come back and see it like in March. And I guarantee you, you're going to be like, holy shit. Spirit, six cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Look at that. Ending one situation that was emotionally dissatisfying. Picking up the two cups behind him, finally. This is someone that maybe has been around you. Two more shuffles for Aquarius. Oh my God, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like somebody got into a marriage or, oh, look at that, right when I was about to say it. Somebody got into a marriage because they felt like it was the right thing to do. Someone was like bound to someone. Someone felt like it was the right thing to do or they had to. Codependency, addiction. All right, Spirit, six cards for Aquarius, please. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant. Yep, committed relationship or marriage. Some of you guys are definitely um, directly connected to source or God energy. You are getting qualified um, counsel and getting advice from wise people, elders in the church, elders in your family, parents, um, counselors. But the Hierophant is about committed relationships and higher levels of commitment, okay? Woo, three of swords, first card out, ace of cups. Damn. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, queen of pentacles. Nine of Wands, that's been coming out a lot today. And the Four of Swords. Okay, for some of you, I feel like, um, what's that song, A Broken Heart? Um, I should have seen it glow, but everybody knows that a broken heart is blind. Some of you fell in love when you were broken hearted or you got into a situation because you were hurting or you were lonely or you were grieving over something or someone and you got into something. Others of you, um, I feel like in February, you've got a new love opportunity that's going to help pluck these three swords out of your heart. It's going to help you um, forgive yourself, forgive those who have hurt you and betrayed you. It's going to help heal you. This is a healing love. Earth angel temperance. This is um, transmuting, transmuting pain into beauty. I'm hearing that song, Beauty for Ashes by Crystal Lewis. I think it's an old 90s Chris, um, Christian song. He gives beauty for ashes, strength for fear, gladness for mourning, peace for despair. Mm -hmm. This is transmuting negative negativity into positivity. This is exchanging something lesser for something better. I do feel like some of you guys could be leaving behind a stable situation. When I say stable, I mean financial. Okay. Um, this marriage could have been based on, like I said, obligation, religion, um, status, finances, I don't know, but it's, it's being left behind suddenly. Also, I feel like lightning, good fortune, February, and queen of pentacles, there is something going in your favor. There is abundance coming in for you. I feel like you are making healthy choices by focusing on your own long-term stability and abundance, and you are taking better care of yourself. Queen of pentacles knows her worth. Are we learning our worth, Aquarius? I love that for you. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Some of you guys are like, I'm never getting married again. <laughs> I'm never going to be in a long-term relationship again. Others of you are going to um, kind of accept this Ace of Cups, kind of accept this new love.
but you're very guarded. I feel like you guys are almost as this too good to be true. This could be about the money. This could be about the love. I feel like you guys need to take some time out to think about it before you answer, okay? Now, interestingly, look at the Three of Swords here, and then look at this. So this is the Four of Swords, okay? So you've got the Three of Swords, Four of Swords. So there is a progression here, which I love to see that. I love the natural progression of tarot when it comes out that way. Now look, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, but look at the Four of Swords, look at this card. The Ace of, or the Ace of Swords, the, tr the Sword of Communication, Truth and Power, he's laying on it. He's not ready to talk yet. He's not ready to take action yet. He's still resting and healing from the Three of Swords, okay? So I feel like with this Nine of Wands here, Aquarius, you could be guarded and, and healing from something before you're ready to move forward. And I feel like February is going to be a breakthrough month for you in business and in love and, your, and in your spiritual life, okay? Aquarius, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. Aquarius, as always, I love you. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Take care. All right, we have Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Pisces? What do they need to know? Four cards for Pisces, please. Four cards for Pisces. One more. Okay, there's definitely some legal issues going on right now. The two cards that flipped up are Gavel and Scales. Definitely some legal situations. If you're not, if you're, well, this is a predictive reading, so you might not know yet, but you're going to be dealing with the law. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. The tower in this deck is so much more pleasant than the one in tarot. Scales, keep your life in balance. A lot, some of you guys need to check yourself before you wreck yourself, okay? And love, oh my God. Some of you guys could be getting married. You could be getting divorced. Others of you could be dealing with um, a lawsuit situation. Um, there could, you know, I don't know, but scales and gavel, there's definitely legal involvement. Could be child support, could be a number of things. Okay, business law, probate law, estate, I don't know. But there's love in the air, there's romance in the air, but you need to keep your life in balance. Pisces, listen, my black moon Lilith is in Pisces, and when it comes to love, let me tell you, I understand how, um, you know, we can be blinded by love. We can, our love can throw our life out of whack. It can throw us out of balance. And it is very important at this time, if you want to see growth and balance in your life, that you make an active effort. Look at that success with effort. You have to put in effort, consistent daily effort, including with love. If you want the love to work, that's what you got to do. All right, let's see. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Pisces and love? What do they need to know? Two cards, please. Pisces. Two cards for Pisces, please. Okay. You have forgiving and learning, but it came out in reverse. So I feel like there's someone that you resent or you're having a hard time forgiving or you are having a hard time learning from a situation and trust. Could have some trust issues here. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Some of you are clinging to the past. Uh, and then trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, could be the new love situation, could be getting out of something, could be the legal situation. I don't know, but something is calling for you to have faith and trust. Spirit, can we please have six cards for who or what is coming towards Pisces? You, oh, you guys could definitely feel bound or stuck in a committed relationship or a marriage. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus. Something that's unhealthy and toxic, codependent. Maybe, maybe, I feel like maybe someone has been stuck in a situation due to societal expectations, or maybe like the church or family or people around them, the community would be like, ew, look at, what is she thinking? Whatever, fuck those people. Anyways, um, Pisces and Capricorn, you could definitely be dealing with the Capricorn. Someone wanted to keep you stuck, Pisces, or you were keeping yourself stuck, look at that. They're bound, and this talks about being bound and stuck, okay? One more shuffle for Pisces. Can we have six cards, please, Spirit, for Pisces? Oh, I didn't do the other one. That's okay, I'll finish shuffling first. Ooh, someone's gonna get their confidence back. Someone, um, what is that movie? Um, Stella gets her groove back, Pisces is getting their groove back. Holla. 
All right, I'm not gonna look under the deck yet. We're gonna pull your other cards. I keep skipping this deck today. Spirit, two cards, please, for Pisces. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? One more shuffle for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Who or what is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Pisces. Forgiving, learning, and trust. Wow. Trust in the process. Trust yourself that you have what it takes to put in consistent effort and that you can succeed. Some of you are actually afraid of success. Ascending, look at that. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. Wedding rings came out in reverse. So again, I do feel like there could be the ending of a marriage or something like that, but this is about union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. Some of you guys are having a hard time in trusting in a new love situation or even trusting that love is a thing because maybe you were involved in an engagement or a marriage where you know you promised it would last forever and it didn't last forever, as it rarely does, especially if people do not put in consistent effort. There is rarely success. Also, if things are not in balance, let's see what you have here. Bottom of the deck, the tower. Fuck. Aries, Scorpio, energy. This is universal. This is the universe shaking shit up. This is a divine rerouting. Okay, this often splits couples up. Look, man and woman, divine feminine, divine masculine. The tower, unexpected shaking up, unexpected ending. Hmm. For some of you, it was like a surface level, <clears throat> surface level commitment or happiness. It was like, it was for show. Six cards, four of swords, healing and taking some time out. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. The sun, Leo energy. Transmuting pain into happiness. Death. Definitely was an ending. Four of cups. Look at that. It's like, oh, I was, you know, I thought we were happy. Some of you could literally be pregnant or be having a child. Um, could be with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius or a Leo. But I feel like it's like, okay, um, I feel like this was on again, off again. Okay. And it's like, you guys decided to give another shot. Somebody may have gotten pregnant or it was like happy for a while. And then it was like the feel, you discovered the feelings were gone and dead. Um, something had changed or transformed and now it's like, yeah, I don't want that cup anymore. Or somebody's focused on the past, the moon. Ooh, we got secrets. Stuff is hidden. This is Cancer and Pisces energy. We have three major arcana, sorry, four major arcana, three back to back. Temperance is Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, some of you guys could have found something out. Could be about a child, could be about um, secrets or a marriage or some legal situation, but there is definitely an unexpected ending here. Um, I feel like maybe, you know, feelings died or, you know, the relationship is ending. Happiness, like there's um, there was an ending that just comes, comes in and just, you know, somebody's raining on somebody's parade. And then it like makes any future love possibilities seem meh. This is my meh card. It's like, no, thank you. Somebody's really, you're going to be having a hard time trusting, but it's like, What's important with the moon card, Pisces, is that you really go deep under the surface. You do some shadow work. Make sure that you are, um, if you're getting into a new love situation, I'm getting this heavily for you right now. Make sure that not only are you working on your own trust issues independently, but that you make, that you communicate how you feel. Communicate your trust issues. Communicate your fear of rejection or abandonment. Communicate. You guys are maybe have different, very, very different communication styles or backgrounds. Um, also, you guys could have very different ways of like love languages. So just make sure that in order to build trust, you guys have to communicate. Um, I feel like that could have been an issue in your past relationship that you're ending. Maybe the communication was off or somebody always said somebody wanted to hear or somebody would like take what they were told and turn it into something else. I don't know. But I feel like you are transcending this past relationship. You are ascending. You are um, learning new skills, learning new ways to forgive and learn um, you are, sorry, that made no sense. You are learning new ways to forgive yourself and the people around you who have hurt you. You are learning how to transmute your pain into happiness and joy. Um, you are becoming exponentially more resilient as time passes, but what's important is that you do not uh, let love put you in a state of delusion. Okay. Trust yourself, trust other people's, but trust people's, trust other people, especially your love interest. If you feel like they're worthy, but trust yourself, trust yourself to look past the surface to look past the obvious to look deeper okay don't just take what somebody tells you as the truth look deeper there's more to be found 
Pisces, I wish you all the best. That is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can pull your energy for future readings. As always, Pisces, I love you. I appreciate you being here and I will see you soon. Guys, thank you so much for your patience. I will be back tomorrow for another reading and I will talk to you soon. Take care.